we're just gonna take some of the soil and simple sink strainer, dollar at the dollar general store, and gently kind of crumble it into the strainer. already see the nice dark color indication of high organic matter um, that looks about good and you just immerse the strainer with the soil and the water let it soak in I might have a little bit too much here on this one If it's not all the way up, you can add a little bit to the top, gently. I think the organic matter is actually floating a little bit on here. Out of the water and flip them over. And you can automatically see the difference in color, right? Nice dark. You can see the crumb structure of this one, uh, whereas this one's starting to ooze and settle down and not hold as well together. Then you can you know, tilt the board and you can see the, you know, the water that's running off, whereas this one soaked up all the water, held onto that water, increases organic matter, as we know, increases orga um, organic matter, increases water holding capacity. And you can just see the difference in the structure and color. And then you can actually kind of give it a little bit of force on top. And this is just sort of not resisting at all and just oozing into a little mud pie. Whereas this is, like, I'm actually hitting that pretty good. <laughs> and it's, it's still holding together. So you can tell as water is going to hit this soil versus this soil with a lot more organic matter. Um, it's going to allow that water to go in, it's going to absorb it, it's going to hold on to it, provide uh, that water throughout the season, where this soil is likely to form a, a crust and seal. You can see how shiny it is on top, and all those pores are clogged, and that's going to create problems for water getting into the ground and moving off.